I'm MC2 Connor Blake reporting from the aircraft carrier USS Theodore Roosevelt CVN-71. On this Theodore Roosevelt update, I'll be highlighting the work of aerographer's mates. Aerographer's mate is um, uh, actually Latin. It means arrow, meaning of the atmosphere, and grapher, meaning to write or record. Um, so we have been around since the beginning of naval aviation. I have about 14 sailors that I've brought on board for not just the TR, but every warfare commander, every asset, every ship. All of those warfare commanders are getting unique, tailored, timely, accurate weather support from my team. Um, my strike forecaster is from Fallon, Nevada. Um, he trains with the guys that, uh, with not just the air wing, but also with Top Gun. So my role is to provide weather support to the air wing uh, in any form of operation. Any strike missions they go and do, um, any sort of special support they need, or anything weather related the air wing needs, um, I'm there to support and fulfill that request. We need winds to be able to launch and recover, and we need our seas to not be hitting us too hard so that we can uh, recover safely. Uh, we need to get the atmospheric pressure exactly right and the temperature exactly right uh, for the planes to know how, and the helicopters as well, to know how much thrust they need to get off the flight deck. Uh, we can't really do that from shore, so we have AG stationed here to directly take those readings, convert those readings over into numbers that the uh, shooters can then use to help uh, know how much thrust the uh, pilots are going to need. We have to travel with uh, some of the DDGs and the cruisers, and this ship can take a lot higher winds and a lot higher seas than they can. Uh, we get the forecast wrong, and they're along with us, and we run into very high seas. They're gonna take damage on their ship. Based on the seas and the wind, the number of people are probably down right now. Right now. Um, my AGs are providing data well in advance of any transit, and uh, there was a tropical cyclone that spun up near the Philippines that if we had stayed on our original track, we would have driven right through it. And uh, so um, while you might not see the hazardous weather avoidance, it is almost constantly happening. Uh, the amount of manpower and the time it takes to put together a forecast um, is a lot more extensive than uh, most people think. Uh, I think people like to joke that, you know, I can go to weather.com and get anything in it. In the middle of the ocean, that's absolutely not true. So we have a whole suite of uh, weather tools and software and equipment and computers that we bring on board just to support the at sea mission because it's so data sparse and our job is, is to ingest massive amounts of data and then turn that into a forecast or some kind of predictive analysis that keeps people safe. For more Theodore Roosevelt updates, check out the Theodore Roosevelt social media presence on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.